Hello guys how are you i hope you are doing well in your life myself fikran and i welcome you all to dev town css series so in this video we are going to see what are css borders and what are css background like how to apply border and background to our html tags so in the previous video we have covered our background and various type of colors that we can give to our text as well as to our background boxes but in this video we are going to see border and background so let us directly jump onto the vs code so yes guys i have opened my index.html page in my vs code so right now i am just going to import the boilerplate code as usual as we do always and i am going to give the title as border and background okay and after that in body i am going to like Uh, select and open two tags. Let's say we have, uh, we are opening one H1 tag, and below that we can open one new tag. Okay. So in H1 tag, I will just write some simple test as we write always. I am Dev Town, Dev Town student, and in the in the second paragraph, I will write let's say, I love my country, something like this. Okay. Okay, sorry. Yeah. So, right now, what I will do, I will just open this code on our browser just to sh show you how it is looking like. Okay. Yes. So now you can see I am Dev Town. I am Dev Town student, and below that, uh, uh, Dev tag is coming. I love my country. Okay. So I will just split my screen into equal parts using our uh, windows and uh, arrow icons. on our keyboard okay so today we are going to see what are this border so uh, let's say first of all uh, i will start with borders okay so i am giving a id to my h1 tag as a container let's say and i am going to select this container in my style tag as we are doing it always in our internal style sheet okay so in styles for selecting this id container i will be using this hashtag and container method and container okay okay so let's say first of all i will give it a background color yesterday like in the previous video only we talk about this so i am just giving it a background color of antique white i'm saving it so right now you are able to see that this background color is getting applied but but you are also able to see that this h1 tag is covering whole of my browser page whole width okay So let me give him a proper width as well. So let's say I am giving a width of four hundred pixel. Okay. Okay, guys. And let's say I am giving it a height also. Uh, let's say height of hundred pixel. I think it is sufficient. Yes. Okay. But the default height is same as the height of that particular tag. Okay. So. our next part is border so how to give border so let's say i want to give border so i will write border let's say border 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 width first of all we need to take border width let's say i am taking 3 pixel after that we have one property called border uh, color so i will be giving the color as let's say violet and after that we have one border style you know Border style should be, uh, I think solid is the best. Okay, so let let's see. So I am saving this. Yes. So right now you are able to see that uh, my that H1 tag is getting applied by this particular border of violet color. Okay. So you can see we can give uh, the border width as per our preference. Let's say I am changing it to eight pixels. So you can see the size of my border is increasing. Okay, by by five pixel, I have changed this. Okay, so I think this two pixel is looking good. Okay, and this border color we can change. Let's say I am going hovering over this color, so I can change the color as per my need. Okay, so this is very simple stuff. And and this solid, if we are not writing solid, then you can see the border is not getting applied. That's why we need to apply the solid statement here just to see our border. Okay, I think there are some an an another options also. Let's say dotted is there. Okay, so if 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 you can see, I am zooming on my browser. Yes, 
the border is getting applied but it is a dotted border okay so various options are there you can try it out as per your convenience okay so you can see there are hidden double inherit so if i took double and i'm if i'm saving it then you can see double border is getting applied okay you can you are able to see the two lines okay so that's the double border okay so right now i am just making it solid so right now let's say i want my edges of that particular box to be curve curve shape okay so you might be uh, you might you might have seen that this particular scene in uh, css buttons so the, sometimes our sign up and login buttons are like some something they are curve on of the on the edges so for that we have one property called border radius okay so let's say i am giving my border radius as 30 pixel okay and i am saving it so you can see the difference my edges are getting curved by 30 pixel okay so that's the thing so let's say i am removing the content from my h1 tag just to showcase you how the box will look like without text okay so like this the box will look like and let's say just for the play uh, let's say i want to make this uh, box a uh, circle so i will just fix my height and width and after that what i will do i will just uh do my border radius as 50 pixel i guess no i think it is not still not working i guess 50% is here working okay so it will take 50% just to make our square turns into circle so what is the difference between this percent and pixel and rem so we will talk about this particular units that are available in css in our upcoming video so don't worry about this just keep this in mind that border radius is used to curve our edges of the particular boxes so let's say i don't want to curve the remaining three edges and just want to curve this top left so for that we can do like this top left border top left dash radius so let's say i'm saving it so now you can see my only left top border is getting curved and remaining all as usual okay so you can apply the border radius as per your need if you want to like curve only one side you can use this top left uh, top left radius if you want to select this bottom left bottom left so you can select bottom left if you can saving it then you can see the difference okay so that's it for border this this is all sufficient for borders okay so now okay one thing one thing one thing i forgot so let's say i want to select only top left with the help of this border radius only so let's say i am giving 15 pixel so i can give a space separated values like say 0 pixel 0 pixel 0 pixel if i am saving it so still it is getting my top left border curved by 50 pixel so how it goes so it goes like let's say this first value is my left top left and second value is my top right then the third value consists of my bottom right and the fourth value is my bottom left so it goes like this in clockwise direction starting starting with the top left border okay so uh if you are using two values only let's say in this two values and i'm if i'm saving it so you might be able to see that i am getting this 50 pixel curve border applied to two sides so how it work so it works like top left top left this is top right and again it will repeat like for bottom left and bottom right okay so like like this it will work okay but uh, for this you need to practice more just to just in case to get uh, like pro in this css borders okay so i am just saving it okay so no issues so right now i am just removing this border color background color and yeah i am just saving it okay so let's say if i wanted to add any background picture to my container to my box so what i will do in this case so let's say i am selecting one case uh let's say we are selecting some one some image let's say i'm getting images from unsplash.com as i have earlier discussed in the development tools that we can use this unsplash to get hd images so let's say i'm uh searching for the images of aeroplane okay okay so i think this sunset pic is very beautiful 
so i'm just copying the image oh image address here and yeah i am going back to my vs code okay so how to copy that like how to where to paste that particular url that i copied so for that we need to write this background image and we need to pass on one url and in url we need to pass this particular image address so right now if i am saving it so you might be able to see the image but not clearly so for that what i need to do let's say i am increasing the width of my height and width of my particular box so if i maximize it so right now i think you are able to see the plane only but not the whole image so don't worry about that just we need to make certain changes in that but 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 for your kind information i am just selecting one small images let's say i am selecting one flipkart logo just to explain you a bit about this okay why i am not able to get the logo no issues i am i will just search for flipkart on google and i guess yes i guess this image is looking good and short and uh, with small size so no issues i am just changing my image okay yes so i think this is the best example to study background images okay so right now you are able to see i am getting flipkart printed many a times it is continuously printing repeatedly in my box so how to change this scenario let's say i want to print my uh, image only once so what i can do for that is a uh, i can pass on one property that is background background and repeat okay so let's say i am just selecting this repeat x okay so you you are able to see the difference between this so right now you can see my flipkart logo is getting printed in x direction horizontally only so this is the meaning of this a uh, repeat x so let's say i am selecting repeat y here so you might able to see the images in vertical manner okay so right now this images are getting printed in vertical manner only okay so this is the meaning of repeat x and repeat y okay so if i want my image to come only once like once so you can select this no repeat method okay so this is a bit uh, short idea about was what like how to control the repeat repeatness of our background images okay so after that let's say you want me to cover my background image the whole container so in that kit in that in that case we will use this background cover background and oh sorry my bad background co cover let's say and it should be cover okay here should be the colon okay i think i think this property is missing out in vs code so don't worry about this guys okay so you have you have gotten the idea like how to uh, how to give like how to control the repeatness of a background image okay so the next property that we are going to see is our background position so how to set our background position so right now what i am doing i am just dividing my page again into equal parts and i am just okay changing the width and height as well i'm keeping it same just to see it in a square format okay so the next property that we have is background position okay so for background position if i pass on center cent center and if i'm saving it so right now you can see that flipkart image is getting applied to the center of my box okay so in this way you can center your image so let's say i don't want uh, my image to be at the center so i can change it like this so let's say center and right right okay i am saving it so you can see my image is getting getting pasted at center right okay i can change this left left side wala syntax to let's say top and right so you might able to see my image is getting pasted at top right i can change this to right and left as well so no issues for that okay so we can change this left wala syntax to top like top center and bottom let's say i am changing it to bottom i am saving it so you can see my image is getting let's say i am <laughs> bottom center okay so bottom center also works here 
okay so these are the different properties that we can use to to make our image look proper in that particular box in whatever box we want to show it okay and one thing uh, more about this background image that we cannot access the image address of this uh, particular image directly by clicking right click okay so for that you just need to inspect it i'm i'm showing this to you just in case you need to import some images from the browser that are background images so for that what you need to do you just need to okay go on this particular thing i think in text or okay i just see now you can you are able to see the background image link here okay so by inspecting the that particular uh, box you are you can like get the background images for that particular boxes see let's see if, if i am uncommenting this you can see the background images getting uh hide okay right now it is coming back okay so i think this is all for today background and borders i hope you have gotten the idea of what this border and background images and how to how to run and how to like set the positions of borders and background so this is this is set for today guys thank you so much for watching if you like the videos please uh, like the videos and subscribe the channel see you you in next video until then thank you so much bye bye